VRF system here. Hooked up to an old, old air handler. It used to be pneumatic. All the pneumatics have been removed. So I'm just here doing some stuff with some controls and whatnot. So put an old DFD on here and got it enabled off of the contacts, off the uh, direct expansion kit. It's doing its thing to adjust. I just had to turn the fan speed up. Basically, these kits, you put uh, all the thermistors on here, on the coil, and then it's got electronic expansion valve in there. This is a brand new coil shoved in there as a water coil. So I think they're just leaving this unit here for like a year until they can go down when the uh, tenants move out, finish TI, they'll put all separate fan coils inside. <laughs> I wonder if this thing works. Just started up. Yeah, it looks too hard. You can see right here, pneumatics used to be here for each zone. This is one of those systems with all independent zones from the rooftop. And I think they just have them opened. But it looks like someone had Belimos on there at one point. Oh, look at all the water coming out. I don't think it's condensating that fast. I think that's just water that was in there already from coming out the side over there. Used to be uh, probably water, chilled water, and then this is either another segment of it or maybe that was, I thought maybe that was heat up there, but not. I don't know. But I'm doing some air now. So anyway, gotta go over to the laptop now. I'm gonna... Oh, here's the pneumatic lines. One, two, three, four, five, going to the five zones. Long abandoned, like I said, somebody went to a, probably had a BMS or something added, the Limos. And now it's tied to a VRF system. How about that? And then this is just temporary stuff for temporary heat for the winter. They're going to remove that. So. It's going to take a while. This thing's probably going to be pissed because I started it and I had real low airflow. So I just reset the speed on the VFD. Oh, that's coming up to normal now. That was like a four degrees and then zero when it started. Now it's adjusting the expansion valve, compressor speeds, all that kind of stuff. And I quite often, when you first start up a BRF, they always do run kind of crazy until they start uh, adjusting. So right now it's, it's getting there. So it should be, should be starting to cool in there.